Okay, let's take a look at adding one another page. This time, click on the Create Page. This time we're going to add a list page to see what it looks like. And you know, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it under the home page again like before. Notice down here I want to show you that I always can check another location and I can put it anywhere I would like. So I wanted to point that out to you at this point. So we'll go ahead and we'll start to build the site. And now it's giving me the nice thing about the list page is it gives us templates. So we can take uh, action lists, keep track of actions, meetings, projects, track your projects, open issues, track the status of individual units in your project, define your own columns for a list. So let's go ahead and create our own. And it's going to let me create a new column. So we'll call this video. We'll add another column. Uh, oops, forgot to name the first one. So there I have video and video. Voila. Um, let's customize the list a little bit. Let's name one of the videos length. All right. So at this point in time, I now have my video, and I can just simply add an item. And it's going to ask me the video. And now you notice a simple way to add a list to your um, page. Great for a way to do a really fast way to put uh, websites in for kids. You can give them a list of websites and they can just go bang, 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 bang. And the, the links are there. So you can do website the title and, and link. Great way to add that in for students. One more thing I wanted to point out to you that's really sweet about this is now that I've created a list page, I could put my list page, it's available to insert on any page. Notice there's an, an insert page for my videos in the lens. I click save and I would now it would be on the post page.